Hey guys, this is CPD, and here I am with 0.13.0 Alpha Build. Beta builds are here, and we got Redstone! Uh, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of Redstone related stuff, not all of it, but as you can see, we can finally place this stuff down, and it is amazing. So, basically most of this video, I'm just going to be going over all the different kinds of Redstone power you can have, all the different things redstone can do and a few of the other new things that have been added in this update so over here on these yellow blocks i'm gonna have all these torches when there is no power receiving when, when they are not powered nothing's powering them the torch is gonna be on but when this red sock redstone block here is powering it, the torch turns off so that's how i'm going to show you how power is going to be what things give off power so obviously this redstone block here gives off power but you're most most likely familiar with the redstone torch itself giving off power so yeah that's in here too now we also have pressure plates you can see the torch turns off once i step on them and we even have the weighted versions which um, require a bunch of mobs to be on them since the lighter one and the iron one is the heavy one they require a bunch of mobs to be on them for power to go through um, yeah, if you want to see that how those work, check out my pocket power video because I spend a lot of time spawning mobs there. Over here we have buttons, which um, power things for a certain amount of time. You can see with that torch. And we have stone buttons, which are the same as the wood ones, but a little shorter. We have the daylight sensor, which outputs power whenever there is sunlight. We have the opposite too. You can tap it to get the nighttime sensor. Or I guess moonlight sensor. I don't know. It only outputs power when it is nighttime. And since it's daytime, there's no power, so the torch is on. But once it's daytime, or oh, once it's set to the daytime sensor, since it's daytime, the torch is off. Over here, we've got tripwire. It went along with the hooks. As you can see, as soon as I step into the tripwire, the torch turns off step out turns on and this is a neat thing because of this tripwire we can place down string so we could do a lot of things that we weren't able to do before uh, uh this is one of the most useful things i think it's a decorative thing but if you place you know how like cobblestone walls they're kind of just flat and not really good for they could be used for castles but if you want to use them for castles even better put string whoops don't do this, but put string on top of it, and it'll look like this. And you can hardly see the string, so you get these awesome, like, castle effect. And, yeah, I think it's a really cool effect. So Having string is amazing. Um, over here, we have trap chests, and I can't really show this off because I'm in creative, but in survival, if you were to open this chest, this torch would power off. Um... Here, I have the normal chest here, just so you can see it with the trap chest, and you can see um, the difference that trap chest has just a little bit of a red tint around the, the actual lock. You can almost not tell the difference, which is the point of a trap chest. Uh, over here we have your classic lever, turns on and off the power whenever you click it. Over here we have uh, a detector rail. It, it outputs power whenever there is a minecart on top of it. And if you get rid of the minecart, there's nothing on top of it. So it turns off. Oh, it turns on the torch. But as you can see, it's not people standing on it. It's specifically minecarts. So yeah. Um, that's basically all the different kinds of power. But here's what the power can do. And... Right now, also, we have all these new doors here. We got the oak one, spruce one, birch one, jungle one, acacia, um, <laughs> dark oak, and we have the iron doors, too. And if you notice, we can't open this one. It's because all these doors can be powered and opened, and they will close when they are not powered. The only way to open the iron door, as you may know, is with redstone power. So... We can open it like that and you can do a little fun thing with this you might have already seen this but if you have all these iron doors surrounding a pressure plate and you stand in here you're stuck so 
Iron Doors is something I've been really, really wanting. Now we finally have them. Over here we have a uh, trapdoor, which you know we've had. But here's also the iron trapdoor, which he can't open. And just like the iron door, you need redstone power to open it. And we can power the normal trapdoors now too. So, yay, trapdoors! Here's another thing: we have the glowstone lamp. So as you can see, it turns on whenever it's power. And we even have the note block, which I'm not sure if I have my volume on. Nope, I didn't. Let's see. Let's turn this on. But as you can see, if we power it. Whoops. You can hear that little noise. Well, you don't necessarily have to power this. You can also just punch it yourself. Just go. Yeah, note blocks are kind of fun. <laughs> uh, but I can see a lot of people doing music in Pocket Edition now. So that's a possibility. <laughs> Over here we've got some minecarts and some rails. There's some new rails that have been added. Okay, th these are the power rails that we've had before. Except now, by default, they're not powered. They're, they're off. You actually have to power them yourself. So when they're turned on... They act normal, they speed up the minecart a little bit, but when they're turned off, they kind of act as a little break. As you can see, I have to push it through. It won't even roll through, it'll stop completely as it passes that rail. So you have to push it through, unless it's powered, and then it just kind of flies through. Um, this one's the activator rail, and it does different things depending on the kind of minecart, but obviously we don't really have different kinds of minecarts. We only have the empty one. So it's the one we can get in. If, um, whoops, I broke the minecart. But if this rail is powered and we get in and we go through it, we actually get ejected out of the minecart. So yeah, that's what activated rails do with empty minecarts. They eject whatever's inside, whether it be mobs or players, they'll just kick them out. And obviously, one of the funner things to do with redstone is light TNT. I bet lots of people are going to be having fun with this. Um, but yeah, that's basically all the redstone stuff that we got for this update. But there's some other stuff that's not necessarily redstone related that's still really cool. Whoops. Don't go. Okay, some of them escaped, but as you can see, we have some bunnies here, some rabbits, and they're all trying to escape. Don't worry, they'll forget about it. Those decided to run off. But as you can see, we have some bunnies. They're a lot smaller than they are in PC, and they are freaking awesome. Look at these guys. Um, normally, these guys would be running away from me a lot more, but since we're already in a cl closed area, they don't really need to do that. Okay, they really don't have any choice. But yeah, they're a lot smaller. And in the wild, they're going to be really hard to kill because, you know, they run so fast. I mean, let's go over here. Let's, let me get out a sword, I guess. Uh, there we go. Let's try to chase down this bunny. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they run kind of fast, so they're going to be a little harder to kill than normal. But a nice little thing is now they're actually one shot kill with a bow on full charge, of course. So that's what makes them easier to kill. So we can just add some, let's add some bunnies in here. We get a little black one. The babies are even tinier, which is crazy. Look how small these guys are. This is the smallest mob in the game. Look how small they are. It's crazy. But yeah, if you're into bunnies, they're in the game now. And also, this is one of my most favorite improvements. The boats are actually a lot faster in this update. So as you know, boats, boats were more durable, but slower before. Now, though, look at this. Look how 
fast I am going. This is like lightning speed. And even the turning is really fast. Let me go into the third person maybe so that you can see this a little better. I'm just holding the button down. Look how fast I can turn. And it's like go this way. This is fast. So yeah. Boats are cooler and they're not weaker in any way. They're still you still can't break them. Look. Crash in here, boom. No breaking. So yeah, boats are just a lot stronger now, which is amazing. Not not a lot stronger, a lot faster, I mean. So yeah, that's basically all that is the main features that have been added into this update. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments so that I can do them in a future video. I will try to do videos as each new build comes out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be covering future Minecraft Pocket Edition updates. Yeah, we're about done here. Goodbye, guys.